Not one person ever asked me, you know, Mario, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? If they would have done that, they probably would have learned that they were talking to someone that was broken on the inside. For Mario Ibarra, the wounds are still fresh from losing his father in combat at a young age. Now he's using his scars to help children of military families avoid the pain he once endured. CBS source Sidney Hernandez joins us live outside Mario Ibarra Elementary that bears the name of his father, Sidney. Nicole, just eight days before Mario Ibarra Jr.'s first birthday, he lost his father. Now he's making sure any military children don't ever have to go through that pain alone. Ever since Mario Ibarra's father was killed during the Vietnam War, things have never been the same. Mario says after his mom, who was only 21, got the news, she suffered with depression and other mental health issues. He soon would learn he would suffer from the same. And it's something that really um, has never gone away, and I would attribute that to the fact that I never uh, received the help that I was needing early on. That help, he says, could have come from anyone. Although the Valley does not have a military base, there are over 30,000 veterans who call the Valley home, and this is where their children go to school. Over 200 alone attend school in Westlaco. Ibarra is now making sure no military child has to feel alone. He is teaming up with local school districts to make sure military students get the help and support they need to be successful both academically and mentally, even though they are not on a military base. Where you have a parent that has been deployed and that affects the child emotionally because they feel somewhat abandoned by their parent. The third scenario is uh, you have a child that may be coping with a parent that has a combat related illness or injury. Westlaco ISD counselor says when she heard Ibarra's story, she decided to recognize military children at every Westlaco campus in hopes of helping with anxiety, PTSD, and other factors they may face. Some campuses are displaying information in the front office. Some campuses are having breakfast with the families. JROTC senior army instructor for Westlaco High, Mario Gonzalez, says he sees the battles they face every day. It does exist. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's inevitable. And, uh, you know, uh, they see their dad, their mom, you know, in the military, and they actually, you know, uh, see what they go through. So they do get affected. Ibarra has since written a book about military children and is working closely with Representative Bobby Guerrero to create a bill that will expand the definition of a military connected child to include not only active duty, but also retired and gold star families as well. Ibarra recently met with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who proclaimed April as month of the military child. And on April 19th, the Westlaco ISD students and staff are encouraged to wear purple in honor of Military Connections Day. Live in Westlaco with Complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4, Valley at 6.